How's it going guys? I just got in a new red dot sight for my turkey gun here. A little Leopold Delta, Delta Point Pro. And on my 870, it's not drilled and tapped. So I needed a solution to mount it without being having it drilled and tapped on the top. So what I came up with is the Aimtech saddle mount right here. It's modeled after the old B-square mounts that aren't made anymore. This is a 220 model made for the 20 gauge. And all it is is it looks like similar to the 12 gauge model but it has these two spacers that you'll put in so this is everything it comes with in the box it comes with the mount itself the two spacers to fit on the 20 gauge receiver two allen keys and your two screws the only tool you'll need to install this is a hammer and i use a 1 16th ounce punch but you can use a little bigger a little smaller it's personal preference so let me show y'all how to mount this thing so it's super easy. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna punch out the back and forward pins that hold the trigger group in here. Now the instructions explicitly state when you punch out these pins, do not move the trigger group or anything else because you want the screws that come with it to be put in exactly how the pins have the gun put together. So we're gonna do just that. All you gotta do is lightly tap it they come right out the other side and just pull it on out one and then the smaller one and I'm not tapping hard you don't need to throw these things out the back and number two so then you're gonna line your saddle mount up but the trick here is you put it on there it's just gonna wiggle up and down and then even if you put one spacer in line it up it doesn't want to stay put so what i do is i'm gonna put put it on put one spacer in and then use the actual screws to hold it in place just like this get it approximately lined up here pull it push it tight against the gun Take your back screw and just kind of use it to hold that one in place, but don't push it all the way through. And then your front screw, use it to hold that one in place. Also, don't push it all the way through. Sometimes you have to wiggle it to uh, get it to go. And then once it's started, this front screw doesn't actually push all the way through, depending on the tolerance of your receiver. Mine, personally, has to be threaded through. And it's not damaging anything on the inside. It's not creating a extra thread on the outside. So I'm gonna go, keep going, keep going, keep going until I just feel it start to push out the outside. You see how it moves the uh, receiver there? And I'm gonna back it off a little bit. Then I'm gonna take this other spacer, insert it on the other side so that it lines up with the holes. And this is gonna make your tight fit. And then I'm gonna start with the back because I know that it's gonna push. And then you'll feel it start to thread on that other one. And then on the front, it should catch in the hole on that spacer. And then it's gonna start to push through and engage the threads on the other side of the saddle mount here. And from there, all you do is tighten it down and it's your choice if you want to add Loctite. I probably will come back and add it. <clears throat> so that it doesn't move. And there you go. Everything's tightened down. My only complaint about this mount is that this front screw doesn't fit flush. You can see that it sticks out here and the threads are fully engaged on the back side. I'll flip it around in a minute. But this is as secure as can be. It's not moving. And there you go. That's your install.